Well, hello, uh, new YouTubers. Let me start off by saying, can I take your bags for you? Can I get you a fresh cup of coffee? Um, and uh, can I get you some Band-Aids? Because you're going to need them. You're going to need some Band-Aids. Let me get you some gauze. Let me get you some, uh, you know, some um, uh, peroxide, uh, you know, because you're going to get wounded on YouTube. This place is quite a place. And uh, I want to say real quickly before um, I forget. If you ever need a friend, I know that a lot of people don't like Christians. They think that we're trying to take 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 it somewhere. We're not trying to take it anywhere, but where it really needs to be and where it's already at, um, where it's really at. Um, you're going to need friends that regardless of what topic you talk about, you are going to need friends that you can turn to here on YouTube. You're going to need friends that you can turn to. You, you're going to need channels that you can go to where the other people are talking. And there's more peaceful measures of whatever subject you're talking about. So, get to know everybody. Um, get to know me. Because even though I talk about topics that a lot of people today are being brainwashed into hating, and that's exactly what I call it, brainwashing. Um, you know, on, on the real, okay, on the real, on the surreal, as they put it, you're going to need uh, somebody that you can trust. You're going to need a good friend. Um, you're going to need somebody that you can go to where, despite your differences, you um, can receive discussion and talk about things without all the nastiness, without all the hatred, um, and so forth. So this should be easy. Um, I got no Bible in front of me. I got no notes that I wrote down in front of me because this is very easy. I've been waiting to do this video and I just got off the computer and I was doing some things on my YouTube channel and uh, you guessed it right. It's the commentators that I'm talking about when I say watch your head and not only your head, but watch your heart. Because this is what they really want to get into. They want to get in here and make you feel some kind of way about whatever it is that you're good at. Or whatever it is that you suck at. Or whatever it is that you are different than them about. They want to get in this thing right here and rip it in two. They want to make you feel some kind of way. And um, so watch your head when you come in here. Don't come in here thinking, whoa, what a wonderful place. Oh, I just love it. Oh, man, Los Angeles. What a wonderful place. Hawaii. What a wonderful place. They have police in Hawaii for a reason. There are jails in Hawaii for a reason. <laughs> they got police in Los Angeles. There's some mess going on up there that don't go on down here. <laughs> so, it's all large in here, and it's just wonderful how easy it is to do videos, and, you know, and, you know, I mean, you never know when somebody is going to blast you. And I think one of the things is, is that the people that lurk 
YouTube. And I'm going to mention some titles in a second. Because I know you're watching. So I'm going to mention you. Okay. But anyway. Um, the people, the kind of people that lurk YouTube. Their favorite place is the comment section. So most of the time, I'd say, well, half the time. They don't even listen to your video. Because you may say something in the beginning. And then you may clean it up at the end. Or you may or you may appear to come off hard at the beginning and then you soften down at the end. And you already apologize for, you know, hey, if I said something that, you know, offended somebody, I just want you to understand where I'm coming from. You know, too late. As soon as you opened your mouth, bam, they put their foot in it. And they didn't listen to the video. They didn't watch the whole video. They just bloop, bloop, put their hateful comments in there. And I'm going to mention some titles in a minute, but I'm going to say it like this. People only have to look at you. If you don't look that handsome, then they think that, oh, you, you don't have nothing beautiful to say. If you don't, you know, if, if you got, if you got a nice chest, Okay, and a pretty face, people will listen to you a lot of times, even though they're not really interested in what you got to talk about. This is a very perverted place. Watch your head, new YouTubers. This is a very perverted place. I've seen women, I've seen women. Because whenever I go to a video, I read the comment section. I've seen women come on to YouTube and get actually social media raped. I'm serious. I mean, I've seen women get raped on social media. I've seen gays get molested. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. I've seen gays get molested on social media, on YouTube. <laughs> but all I'm saying to you is watch yourself. Don't come in here thinking that, oh, you know, be prepared. Don't come in here thinking that, oh, you know, I'm going to make this, this video and then I'm going to get a like from people. Well... Let me say it again. A lot of these, there are people that come into this neighborhood we call YouTube. They're not here to really listen to anything you got to say. Okay. How do I know this? Because I got people getting on my one channel talking about stuff from another channel and people getting on this channel talking about stuff from another channel these two channels really ain't supposed to mix now if I want to mention something from one channel to another that's fine but anybody with common sense understands what the channel is about or what the video is about but these people that are coming to your channel, that are going to come to your channel, they know some kind of way of whether you are likely to even read your comment section. And if they think that you're in a situation where you would read your comment section because you care. See, some people don't care once they make a video they don't care what you they they everybody knows that they're not going to waste time on their comment section they know that whatever you say in the comment section you ain't saying to me you're saying it to other commentators you're not saying to the person that made the video somehow they know that 
But some of the nicest of us, some of the, and I'm not talking about just us that are just making homemade videos, but I mean, some of these guys that make, you know, news channels and uh, commercials and um, uh, music channels, um, they'll, um, you know, even stuff downloaded off of television, they will comment on the YouTube channel. People are shocked and people love it. But when people think that you're likely to read your own comment, comment section, they will come after you with guns. YouTube, so to speak. They will come at you with guns, bombs, and knives, and, and all like that. You know. One thing you better get used to on YouTube is you better get used to hitting the delete button. You better get used to uh, unsubscribing. You better get used to um, real fast. You better get used to unsubscribing. You better get used to um, removing your comments from someone's page. Removing somebody else's comments from your page. Um, blocking people from your channel. Because, like I said, there are many, many people on YouTube. A whole hood of them. A whole bunch of hood rats. And I'm not talking about black folks. I'm talking about, I'm talking about hood rat atheists. Hood rat racist whites, hood rat racist blacks, hood rat college kids, hood rat um, Asians, hood rat, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, um, people who hate guitar players, people who hate ukulele players, people who want to criticize Hollywood, hood rat, hood rat, hood rats for everything on YouTube. And a lot of them have nothing better to do. Then go to the comment section. Some of them don't even push push the play button on the video. They just go to the comment section and they see Beyonce and they just you know. Um and one of their favorite things to do on YouTube, real quickly, is this to get you so upset. Especially if you say something that actually makes sense. If you say something that hits people where the truth is at. Okay. Um, these people will try, they'll even, do, I, you know, I mean, I watch a lot of channels. And I've been around because I watch non-Christian channels. I'm a Christian. But I watch it on Christian channels and I watch the channels, even the channels that are, you know, sexy and, 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 and loud and, and people cuss like a sailor and they, they, they put weed on a pedestal and, and, and alcohol on a pedestal and, and, you know, they just want to bad mouth everybody. I've been to those channels. You would think that somebody like Tommy Sotomayor would be everybody's number one favorite. <laughs> Go to his channel and you'll find out how people have tried to actually take him to court. They went from YouTube to the point to where he had to go to court. Because he beat somebody in an argument. Or because he, someone tried to attack his channel and he, he had more money and more power so he ripped theirs to shreds. And they had to come back as somebody else. And then they come back again and they get ripped to shreds. <laughs> kind of like. You know them, uh, and, and there's a lot. Let me tell you what kind of people are here on YouTube. It's like there's cowards, number one, on YouTube. You have 
musicians. I'll, I'll start there before I get to the deep stuff. You have musicians who can't play guitar. Okay. Or they can't play ukulele or whatever. So they'll, and this is not first. This is, this is like the lowest, this, this is the stuff you don't see that much of, but it's there. They can't play guitar very well. They can't play ukulele very well or whatever. But, you know, they do a song and they, they go through all this work to finally get the song right. And they do the song on YouTube and, you know, they'll get a lot of likes and they'll get a lot of people who appreciate. I seen a child. She had to be this small. And she was only like, I think, four or five years old. And she did, her parents let her do a YouTube video where she was playing her ukulele for the first time. And they taught her how to do the song and all like that. And she has such a, such a cutest little voice. And of course, she's only four years old. She's going to be a little bit off key um, and all like that. And she kind of missed, you know, the downbeat a little bit, you know, when she was strumming. But you could tell what she was trying to sing. It's a sweet little girl. She probably... She probably was about like four feet or less tall. She had to be like four years old or less. And, and you know, most of the people in the comments section thought it was just the cutest thing, of course. But then there were people who got on there and said, keep your kid off of YouTube. We don't need to hear this garbage. Teach your kid how to play the ukulele before you put her on YouTube. I didn't come here to hear this nonsense. I mean, people are ruthless like that. They are. They are. They're ruthless like that. Um, you got cowards to come into YouTube. You got racists. Um, you got, you know, um, like I said earlier, you have sexual predators that come on to YouTube. Um, and, and, and I understand that, you know, this is 2017, we got gay marriage and all like that. I respect that, even though, thank God my Bible ain't here. But anyway. I respect that. I respect that because I can read it, you know, out of my Bible till I'm blue in the face. This is, these are country laws. I understand that. And I got nothing against homosexuals. Um, I just stand my ground when it comes to, you know, what is foundation and what is not. Um, you know, um, and I do the same thing with not just people's sexuality, but I do that with religion. I do that with um, anything that talks about God. I do that with anything that talks about politics, whatever. There's a foundational principle for everything. There's a foundation. There's the, there's the level ground. And then there's, there, then there's all this nonsense that's getting thrown on top and all this mess is trying to come and tear up the foundation. Okay. But I'm a person that's all about foundation. But you got cowards to come to YouTube, you got sexual predators, you got people to come to YouTube pushing their homosexuality, their agenda on people. Okay, you got these transgender people coming in here looking for all this attention. Okay, um, you know, people come in here and the kind of people you got coming in here. Or people who starve for attention. I guess because they're not getting it enough at home. Or whatever's going on. But they starve for attention. And they come in here and they, they say things that don't make coffee. They say things that don't produce toilet paper. I mean, it, it's just nothing. If you know what I mean. Who are you talking to? What kind of commentators were you looking to? You know, I go to some people's channel and then I sympathize with them and then they start talking and I'm like, what am I supposed to say to that? 
What am I supposed to say? Click, I'm out of here. You know, I don't even know what to say. I'm not even going to comment on that because I know it's going to be a mess. Because all I can say is, what the heck are you talking about? And I know what you're talking about, but yet I don't know what you're talking about. Like, what are you talking about? I understand the subject, but what you're talking about ain't got nothing to do with the subject. Anyway, new YouTubers, be careful of the cowards. Be careful of those who, you know, you got a pretty face, watch yourself. You got an ugly face, watch yourself. You got If you're a Christian, watch yourself. If you're an atheist, pat yourself on the back. The atheists let me know that they're taking over YouTube. I've heard that from about five atheists. We're taking over YouTube anyway. Whatever that means. Talk about Christian persecution. Uh, you just gave the Muslims and the Catholics a break. I ain't worried about them anymore. I ain't even worried about ISIS. I'm worried about these atheists cutting my head off. That's another channel. But I'm telling you. And if you're an atheist and you think you're going to come in here and kick it with atheists, watch your head because atheists hate on everybody. And I literally mean everybody. I've seen atheists go at it. I mean really go at it. Because one supports feminism and one doesn't. More, if, if you say there are no morals, that we make it up as we go along, right, atheists? I ain't trying to preach the word. I'm just trying. I'm speaking to new YouTubers. Then, okay, what right do you have to say this woman can't be a feminist? Now, as a Christian, I have some scriptural notes about being a feminist or not being a feminist. And, and, and that would be not so much for her, but for me. You know, for my own lifestyle, for my own culture. But people on YouTube are not, it's, and it's okay, and this is what I do. I invite people to seek out better cultures, to seek out better lifestyles. Because here I am on YouTube, and I got these wealthy people come into my channel acting like children and I got to show them, okay, how to hold hands, okay, and sit down and eat a cookie. I got to pass out cookies and milk and call in, you know, the kindergarten cops to come in and, 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 and teach them how to sit down and, and, uh, eat their cookie and take a nap and listen and behave themselves. I got these wealthy, middle class, high class, Lamborghini driving, million dollar girlfriend, million dollar house on the beach in Florida. And here I got to teach them how to go sit in the corner. And I got to have the kindergarten cops come in. The kindergarten tactical team come in and, and, and show them how to sit down and, and act like, you know, adults for one minute. Let me get to the end of the video. My goodness. You know, act like adults for one minute. <laughs> and I tell you what, the last uh, two weeks um, have just been like a jungle. And that's what it is in this place. You think it's Beverly Hills. It's not. This is a jungle up in here, new YouTubers. This is a jungle, literally. And I tell you what, I would mention names, but see, when you mention names of people, that gives them more reason to keep on coming to your channel and commenting. And there's a bunch of people that keep coming to my channel, and I appreciate. And that's another thing. Don't. I mean, if you. Now, you always have the option. This is the thing. This is where you, you know, you got to weigh your pros and cons. Because I know I do it to people that, 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 are, that are doing it. But like a lot of Christians, for example, 
will hide the comment section. They don't put the comment section on their videos. And so, therefore, um, um, people won't watch their videos because there's no comment section. People want to look at the video and say thank you very much or they want to criticize. You're going to get more critics than you are going to get, okay, thumbs up. So, um, you know, in all my videos, don't have any of these. They just have people that get on there and call me the N-word. People that get on there and and tell me um, how ugly I am. And people um, that get on there and, you know, um, say all kinds of things to me because I feel that I'm qualified to let my voice be heard. Because I got a channel and they're too lazy to put one together. You know, um, it's, it's, it's crazy, the thugs that are going to come in here, um, and you, you better be loaded, you better have on your breastplate and your helmet, have your sidearm next to your side, new YouTubers, and I'm hoping YouTube staff is hearing this. There's a lot of predators of all different types on YouTube. And they're not interested in you unless you are already a superstar that doesn't need YouTube to do anything for you. YouTube is just extra. Okay, you're already preaching and doing some things, but even them guys... Oh, they was waiting for you when you got to YouTube. Even some of these movie stars, even some of these uh, musicians, um, these politicians, they open up a channel on YouTube and people were waiting for them to show up. And as soon as they showed up, came the rocks and, 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 and bottles of fire and you know what I'm saying. It was, a, it was just a riot. Okay. Um... And I listen to everybody. I listen to those that I already know I don't agree with. But if you want to say something that would make me reconsider, I'll listen to you. And sometimes I do reconsider. Um, and then there's people on YouTube that just want to clown other people. They ain't really trying to help anybody. They just want to make videos. And I'm talking about the people that actually do. Um, the videos and are making money at it. Some of these cats, they don't really care about anybody but their new income and clowning um, different types of people, different groups of people, okay, while they laugh about it. But yet, they want you to think that they're some kind of victim in this society. And they're trying to keep you from being a victim. No, I'm trying to keep you from being a victim of not only YouTube, but the world in general. And um, YouTube is a prime example of the world we live in today. Before you come in here and thinking you're going to hang out and enjoy the neighborhood, let me tell you something. YouTube is the Cosmo Hall of America. <laughs> It is. Okay. I mean, you can legalize anything in here. And you can also preach anything in here. And you can also attack anybody and anything in here. Um, there are no, really no referees. Just you and the delete button. Just you and the different options to, to uh, protect yourself with. Um, which is in the press of a button, know what those are and use them. I'm still learning what they are, but I tell you what, by the end of this week, I'm gonna, I'm probably going to have all kinds of fresh people on my YouTube channel. Um, I don't know. Some comments 
you know, I, I, I understand I opened up a can of worms because I preached the truth. Um, so that's fine. Um, so I might leave some comments here, but when you call me names, especially names that represent profanity, um, when you really, really, really try to come at me with a spear and try to stab me in my heart, and you come at me with a pipe to hit me in my head, you know what? Click, you're out of here. And you better learn how to defend yourself, new YouTubers. You need to know how to defend yourself because no matter how pretty you are, no matter how white you are, how black you are, how Muslim you are, no matter who you are, they're coming to get you. They're going, they're going to come after you. And so you need to know how to defend yourself and you need to know how to, I hate to say this because I'm not a person that's in the segregation, pick your side of the neighborhood and keep, <laughs> pick your side of the neighborhood and keep the thugs out. Okay? Really. So again, if you need a friend, forget about religion, forget about you know, uh, I'm not going to bombard anybody with, uh, you know, black issues or white issues, racism issues, po political issues or religious issues. I talk about everything and I will be talking about everything. So, um, God bless you. Watch your head, new YouTubers. And I think the staff at YouTube would agree with me. And to those who had a comment about the way I drink my tea. This is for you. My final slurp of the day. God bless you. Good luck.